everyone! Today we're going to be looking at how to do a wood burned design onto wood with a Cricut made stencil. So you're going to need your wood and this is just a round piece of wood that I picked up at Joann's and you can get these at any craft store, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby and they're not very expensive at all so I grabbed one of those. You'll need the design that you're going to put on your, on your wood. You're going to need some sandpaper or a sanding block down to 220 grit, a wood burning marker or pyrography marker it's called, and something to prime your marker on. So I'm just using a tissue, you could use a piece of paper, whatever you want and some form of heat gun. This was what I'm using. This is actually way overkill, but we just moved and I can't find my small heat gun, so I'm going with the big one today. But it doesn't matter as long as it gets hot enough to do what you need. And for this purpose, you don't need it to get super hot. So that is what we're gonna be doing. So the first step is you want to sand your surface down to at least 220 grit. So sandpaper comes in different grits, so 220 grit is a finer grit, and you want down to a finer grit. If your surface is really rough, you probably don't want to start with 220 grit. You might start with like 150 and get it down and then move to the 220. And this is really important, even though this has come already fairly smooth, I've definitely discovered that sanding it down as fine as you can makes a huge difference and I'll show you guys I did these two just as a little test and this one came out much clearer than this one did and this one I sanded this one I did not so it really does make a difference my lines are much cleaner on this one than they turned out on this one that I didn't sand so just definitely something to know super important to sand. So I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm going to sand the top of this down. Okay, I've got it nice and sanded there. As you can see, that really didn't take a very long time but it makes all the difference when you're doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna get my piece of board positioned kinda how I want it to be. And then I'm just using a name stencil that I made with my Cricut. And then I'm gonna put this one on. And this is why you sand, because when you go to put your stencil on, you get a much better grip if your surface is sanded. Okay, I'm going to put this on with my fingers first. And then I'm just going to take a tool here. Okay, and then you just want to peel off the top of your stencil. This is that transfer tape. Sometimes that's easier said than done. There we go. I'm just going to peel it off real slow. Alright, 
So I've got that. And I am going to go over it just one more time with this. Okay, and I made this too. I still haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put it on, and that's why I made it separate from the rest. And now is the fun part. So I've got my marker. And if you look at these directions on here, it says um, you're gonna sand to at least 220 grit, which is what I did, and then shake and apply your design and then heat. So you're gonna shake this. And then what you want is to make sure the bottom of this is that orange color. And then you're gonna prime it so that not all your ink comes out all over the place. And I'm just using a tissue for this. So I'm pushing down and then it comes out. And then I'm going to have test it there. And then I'm going to go very lightly over my design here. And I am not pushing down when I'm going over this design. I'm just very lightly coloring. You do kind of want to make sure that you don't miss spots as you're going. So I kind of go back over certain areas that I missed. And I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Do I want this down here at the bottom? Do I want it at the top? I think I kind of want to get there at the top, actually. Yeah, we're going to do it at the top.
got that. Once your stencil is on and you're, you've applied everything, you're just gonna take your heat gun and just heat up. There you have it. Super adorable. I'm gonna put this up on my mantle. Really easy. Doesn't create a lot of mess. Don't actually need to do anything to the torch or the fire or anything. And you get that look. But really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to like and share it. Leave us a comment down below. I'd love it if you would subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for more. Thanks so much for watching Deb's Joyful Designs. Bye, guys.